Okay, open back guys. So just to get a bit of character to this, so I added some added lighting to this just to get a general idea on the uh the depth of this character and the depth of our uh, textures also with shadow in, shadow input in here in our scene so basically what i did was just to change this setup to a tomoko studio tomoko studio setup in here just basically it then I just turned on the shadows in there that's basically it but for the skin texture i would like to use a more generalized white lights so i can actually see how to kind of properly texture the texture the skin without any influence of um additional lights or light color ambience on the general character so basically what i mean is this unlike using a an actual skylight we have some contribution some kind of orange and bluish contribution to it so if you kind of move this to the side you can see on the reflection you can see the kind of bluish things coming from the sky let's say i turn on the visibility of this then 35 then take this down you can see how the bluish net of the sky is kind of having an ambience on the i was going to color ambience on the skin color so i don't really want that let me put it back to 35 and take this down completely whereas when using a single light a white purely white light around this don't necessarily have those um color ambience very very um, dispensation on the on the character's body though sometimes you might want to have some kind of color to you just to but just completely based on personal preference though it's completely based on personal preference actually but i think it's a good one it's a good one. See how some kind of shows us the the occlusion in between each <clears throat> each pixel is still obviously in the kind of giving us more contrast to it, which is this soft light contrast also. Which one did I use just now? I one okay, this one. So if the previous one, this particular one, just sees sees you see how. It kind of eliminates the those contrast and the character because there's a light underneath this underneath the background down here. But this one still gives us so it keeps the so gives us that clear idea of depth to this. So I'm going to be using this instead. Uh, I'll hide everything else. So the first thing I always like to do is to kind of get some overall redness to the skin as our first layer pass on top of this. So let me delete this. Oh crap! And do that. That's a that's a normal map we have in there. So let me just name this to normal map. Normal. Okay. So I would create. <coughs> I would create a new fill layer in here. Can you fill layer in here? Then this, then this layer, I'm going to be adding some redness to it. So let me look for some, some skin redness. Um, I have a particular guy that I usually use though, so that's what I'm going to be using. 
but I think I will need the first. I think the first part shouldn't be just pure red. Let me get like a very close tone to this. Maybe something a bit yellowish. So let's see if I can find. Mm. Yeah, I think this yeah this 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 should be fine. This stone should be fine as our base. Yeah, I'm not going to patch in redness on top of this. So let me do a quick save. Think of picking, picking this redness in here. Let me name, name this to base tone. I don't know if this color looks too bright. Yeah, it just feels too bright. Since something like this should be fine. I don't want to. I don't want the environment light to be too bright. I'm causing too much highlight, and then that will just kind of throw me off. That will throw me off when I want to start using. When I'm going to add more skin tone variation of colors to this. So, uh, let me duplicate this. Duplicate this, and then I would um. Let's get more. Let's get more redness to this. Ton of height and normal, don't need normal height. Ton of metallic also, we just need roughness and color output in here. Yeah, this, this redness, this redness would work. But I like to break up this redness. So I'm going to add a black max to this. And then I would um, add a few layer. Uh, let's try the B W. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see something that has a sharper contrast to it. Let's get this to try playing that mapping. Yeah. Uh, Mm, I need something that is a bit broader though. I need something a bit broader. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this will be fine. Let's randomize this a bit more. Yeah, this will be fine. So let me name this to Red bees. Gary have bees already. Why don't you name this to dark red instead? Dark red bees stone. Then I will duplicate this. For this, I'm going to tune up the redness for this a bit more. Just something around here. Let me hide this. Uh, something like this. Let's see. Not too bright though. Somewhere around there should be fine. Then I'm going to use a slightly different. Let's try this one. Let's see. Now this one is just way too dull. Yeah, uh, I need something with a more broad aspect to it. Uh, let's see if we increase the contrast for the okay, yes, let's get a bit more contrast to it. Yeah, something like this to we'll randomize this, maybe a too much, something like this. So our 
just based on that one you guys kind of a bit yellowish it's kind of helping us also i don't want to say complete i don't think completely flat and white surface a white default surface on top of as the base as our lowest base layer for this i don't want that so this i don't i'm not really seeing much difference though This has a broader spec. Let's let's turn this down. Okay. Mm, not sure if I see any major. I'm just gonna blend these two together, though. Let's see. I'll need this broken up a bit more. I think somewhere around here. Let's randomize this. Yeah, I think this should be fine. Yeah, this looks fine. So, another thing I would like to do is to I'll duplicate this again. Um, and I'll get a more brighter red tone to it. It's quite bright. Then, I'm going to be using a different, different one for this. So, we have this marble wide. Marble wide. More, like, more or less like for kind of vein structure on top of this so um, I'm going to be using two just to break up the surface a bit more um, let me hide this one now see if I feel like I should break this up a bit more going to the contrast for the nah Okay. Yes, yeah, something like yes, yes. I think this, this is better. This is better. Okay, awesome. Um, all right. Okay. Now, let me name this to. Let me. Just, it's always good to kind of rename stuff so you can actually keep. You can keep keep track of it properly. Very important. Um, uh, this to bright, bright red base. Okay. All right. Yeah, for this for the veins, let me just hide all of this for now. Okay, be small on this. Once this. Once more of this actually. Let's see. Uh, okay, so you don't try playing the mapping. Let's see if we can increase the scale of this. Increase the scale makes it look so. Like a let's say value of five. Okay. Yeah, this would work. This would work. Let's let me name this to Mabu. Mabu Veins. I'll duplicate this. Let's get one more. Let's get more more in here. So just type in veins, veins instead. Okay, we have used this one already. Oh, okay. The previous the one we used was this moments. This is wide, marble wide. 
this is marble veins let's plug this in here so let's hide this for now put this about a value of one feel like I should change soon change the color tone a bit more for this okay uh, obviously more red okay so if we should bring everything back on top of this now this is this is what we have I also need to kind of add a bit more vein to this, but it's a different color tone. Like one with a more darker blue tone and one with a green, green, blue, green, greenish tone to it also. Let me see if I can find a reference that would help us for that. So the idea is just to break up the surface so much that when we kind of start painting the actual skin tone on top of this, we will have like some interesting variation on top of it. It may not be too obvious though, but just be there just to make the surface a bit more interesting. Okay, so I'm going to so I'm going to name this to marble marble large veins. At the end of the day, you might not really see most of these picking up, but I always like to kind of still add them in there. Um, I'll duplicate this. Any color tone for this? Let's look for a tone for this that would work. Um. Uh, okay, yeah, I think no, this doesn't. This is not given. I'm looking for a reference that would kind of give us an idea. Um, okay, okay, this would help. Though it's not really, there's not really, there's no veins around it though, but. At least for the color tone we're looking for, that would actually help. Let's see if. Ah, not really. Okay, now this is just this would help with the pre tone though. So, go to using this tone in here. So, let's hide everything else. I just visualize this. So I'm just going to put this back to a value of 10 instead. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Let's try a value of 5 instead. So, okay, I this color comes already here. So I'm just going to pick in something a bit faded out. Yeah, something like this. So let's push this up a bit more. You can actually use the same color code if you want to. Okay. So I'm just trying to establish a really good base for this. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, this is fine. Let's just randomize this. Okay. And I'm going to duplicate this large veins. I'm going to name this. It's okay. Um, wait a minute. I think which one is this? Large veins. Uh, I'm a bit lost in large veins. Okay, 
Okay, yeah, I made a do I made a duplicate rather. I made a duplicate. So this is, this is my duplicate. So this is supposed to be a green colored shade. So let me rename this to not large bands this time. I'll name this to uh let me just name this to dog blue. Yes. You're right, I don't know colors very much, so then just need something that I can easily understand. Oh, you know this purple is so let's just use purple instead. Alright, so I'll just name this to green. Okay, so turn this on, but I'm going to <clears throat> use more of a greenish tone to it. So let's capture, look for something with a darker green tone to it. Dark green. Yeah, something like this. Then I'll just randomize this. <clears throat> Uh, maybe increase the status to the value of 3 instead. So let's turn everything back on. So let me start from the base red. We have this, we have this, this. So you can see how this kind of breaks up the surface even more. Giving us a bit more of an interesting on that tone look to it. It's more like veins all over the all over the place. Uh, I don't know if I still have a reference. Let's see if I have a reference that would that kind of kind of helps to kind of pack, pass the idea of what I'm trying to do in here. I don't think I'm not entirely sure if I have if I have though. I mean, let me just find one and then just show you guys so we're on the same page so i'm not just doing something you don't really understand that's a better way to educate you guys so i'll show you guys the examples that is relatable and let me just pause this and then just look for relatable reference okay so i found something that should help at the very least though not entirely or completely accurate to what i'm doing but just something to just something to just give you guys an idea. So, so you can see this vein network around the face, vein arteries, vein arteries, veins and nerves. You can see this network of this around the face. So I'm just trying to recreate something somewhat something somewhat similar. Something somewhat sim <coughs> similar around the face. So we will not begin to add the actual generalized texture color color block out on top of the face. She just kind of overlay on top of what's on top of this vein, arteries, and nerve network. We've already built underneath this. So if that makes sense. So, so in the next lesson we will continue by start blocking out the main the main texture on top of this character. So I will see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.